Hey guys, it's the in this episode, let's talk about how we can create a table view with card views. You see apps around the world like the Google apps very famously creating the um, table view with each of the cell in the table view, not like by default standard table view cell like the UI table view cell in iOS, but it creates some sense of like it is a card. It has some shadow, it has some background, very, very beautifully, nicely done. So in this episode, I want to show you how to do that. Below this video, you'll find out a link for you to download the start project, all the things that implemented already for you, <coughs> excuse me, already implemented for you so that we don't have to like implement it from scratch because I want to focus on how we can create, how we can implement the card view so that you can implement that right in your app. So below this video, download the start project and there you will submit your name and email so that I can send you my new iOS course for you. As my thanks for checking out the coding our show. As always, I hope that you enjoy this episode. So let's get into the demo. All right, guys, so here is how our starter project looks like. When you download this project and just run it because it's a complete project, I just left alone the feature, the card feature, the card sound look like feature that we are going to implement in this episode. So this app, it displays a bunch of my blog posts, a bunch of code how episodes from this blog.json. It is from JSON data. All right, it is a tail view and when you click onto a cell like this, it will show up the website for the full block. Very simple, right? Now, how we can have our each of the cells like this is displayed with the card view. Like it seems like a card view, but actually it's just a normal cell with a background view and the background view has some shadow. So let me show you that. Let's go back into our main storyboard, all right? And then I will drag out, go to the object palette, and let's drag out a UI view. So I will search for UI view here and will display our view. So I will drag it right on on the tail view cell. It will it will like um put on top of every element like that. So let's go over the document outline. I will drag it above here so that every it, the view itself is lays below this all right now because right now this thing is white color so we cannot see it very, very uh, clearly so let's go back into our attribute inspector i will change the color of this into something something like uh, uh, right something okay so we can see the view and we can drag it around we can make some connection and then we'll go back into the normal uh, color that you like or you can just do it in code right now let's apply auto layout on this view so we'll just go over the pin menu button over here the pin button okay and then we'll uncheck the constraint to margin but get eight to the top eight to the left eight to the right and eight to the bottom like that and then I will update the frame for the item and boom all right so now I have a little problem because okay did you see that it says eight to the left but it is eight to the left neighbor of that guy not to the margin of the content view of the tail view cell that's why it has a constraint like that right so I will uh, command Z in that all right Let's come in Z that and let's make sure that it doesn't have any other constraints. Let's come in Z. All right, there we go. Put it, I will put it back here. I should have been just like delete that thing, but all right. So let's do the constraint again. I will just do the constraint again. A to the top, it's to the left, it's the right, and A to the bottom. But make sure that the left here, instead of the thumbnail image view, we use the content view. So I will use eight here, all right? And make sure all these things, content view, good. Content view. And here is also content view. So now let's update the frame, add the constraints, and we have the constraints for this guy. So again, I will just have this thing as um, reddish, all right? It's actually red. So the next thing we have to do is we, it's kind of a bumper that if you want to create the shadow for this, 
you have to write in code you uh, cannot like there is way for you to do this in um in main or storyboard like this using the user defined the runtime attribute but i think it's the best to do it in code so let's open up the assistant editor goes into the episode table view cell which is the subclass a custom class for this prototype cell all right the episode table view cell is this class and then we are going to create an IV outlet. So I already created for you called background card view. You can just uh, drag this. So let's drag. Oops. All right. So there's some problem here. Let's. I will delete this thing. Delete that. Okay. If you have that. So I will control drag from this view to this guy. And let's call this thing background card view. Okay. Background card view and connect it. So now we have an IB outlet. So now let's go back into our UI tech um, episode tail view cell and we will configure this background card view because we can add code in this. We can configure the background card view, we can change its color, we can change everything. So in the updates UI, uh, this updates UI will get called whenever an episode or the data source for this episode tail view cell gets set. So when we update the, the UI, let's just update or add some attributes into the content view and also the background card view. So the first thing we we'll have to do is we have to change the 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 color of the color of the card view, right? So background because we just did it as reddish. So background card view dot background color is UI color dot y color like that so we change the background color of the background card view now if you look at the final project here I have a design for the final project we have this card view it's like it seems like floating on top of the background and the background here is it has some uh, background color so let's change the background color of the content view of the cell also so let's do content view, which is of this UI tail view cell. The background color to be UI color. And I will use red, green, and blue over there. And the red here is 240 over 255.0. I will copy paste this 255.0 here. And the green is 240. Oops, gosh. I forgot that the green is the same and the blue is the same. So we have this grayish color background and the alpha, let's do it 1.0. Then we change the background color. Next up, we want to make sure that this card view has a little layout, uh, the like the corner radius, right? It's like three or five. So let's change that. We have background card view dot layer dot radius corner radius equals to i will use 3.0 if you like five that's okay next up in order to have the shadow in order to have the shadow applied to this guy i have we have to change the layer dot masks to bounce to be false otherwise if we set it to true then it will just cut out the uh, shadow so let's do this background card view dot layer dot mask to bounds equals false otherwise we will not have the shadow so talking about shadow let's configure the shadow of this guy now shadow in the layer of a view has many properties so i would just I, let me go over the layer here i will click into the layer and you have to scroll way i'm sorry gosh so where's the layer? Where's our layer? It is CA layer. Click onto that again. And way, way, way below here, we have mask, we have um, contains content. Okay, let me find that for you. <clears throat> Draw and right. We have background color, see that? We have corner radius. We have border width. Okay, you can set that also. We have opacity. Um, let's see, what, what else do we have? We have background filters. We can apply filters to that. We can have shadow color. That's what we want. We have shadow opacity. That's also great. We have shadow offset. Let's do that. 
And if you want to set the shadow radius, you can do that also. Or even cooler, we can draw our own shadow path. So this path here, you can use um, CA Bezier path to draw it. Or you can change the front frame, all of those things. So let's do this. Back to our episode tail view sound. Let's set the shadow for this guy. Let's do background car view dot layer dot. Um, let's set set the shadow color to be something like UI color dot black color. But because it is like grayish, so I will use the opacity for this color color with alpha component so we can have a little opaque into that and i will use very low number 0 0.2 so it's not black because it's okay now we have 0 0.2 and because we are applying the color on the layer here let's change that into ca i'm sorry cg color let's also apply the shadow offset of the shadow now with this offset we can make things very very dynamic with this tail view now let me show you so here is the complete project right the offset i'm setting right now for the layer of the shadow the shadow of the layer it is zero so that i have an evenly spread in the background in the shadow all around the cells like that you see but if you want to make this shadow differently like you can you can literally make the shadow shift down a little bit so that the shadow is below here and then it makes feel like this um, um this car view is like like it's like on top of it's floating on top of something it's like you put in a car view on the table and that thing is on top of the table and you have the shadow on the top of the table right makes sense right or you can change it because it is a cg size very easily to change the width and height so make it to the left make it to the right change the size of the shadow so now let's do the offset background card view dot layer dot shadow offset equals to this is a cg size so let's do cg size with the width is zero and the height is also zero and the last property i want to check in is background card view dot layer dot shadow shadow opacity opacity like that and we'll change that to 0 0.8 so that it is not very like completely uh, it will see through it's not that dark but we can see through that all right so let's run the project and see how it looks like here we go we have our project if the tail view has card views on it it's very very nice well done guys now this thing is very extremely customizable if you don't like the color of the cells change it if you don't like the color of the shadow change it you can change the shadow color here you can change the background color of the cell here you can change the content the background color here and as i show you you can change a lot of properties for this layer see a layer of the uh, view all right guys that's how you create a background with the shadow so that you can create a sense of like this cell is like a card a card in your tail view i hope that you enjoy this episode i hope that you will implement this in your app a lot of you ask me about the course that i just give you out for you just checking out the coin our shell yes i'm giving you out my new ios course for you when you check out the coin our shell when you go into the link below this video download your starter project and i will send you my new ios course to the in email address that you provide me when you download your start project so go back there in your inbox checking out my new ios course i hope that you enjoy that and i hope that i will see you in the video in the course as always go out there every single day of your life learn new things craft your ideas and contribute to the world